Hi, I'm Martha Holman. I'm the Digital Communications Coordinator for the Diocese, and I'm here with Archbishop Colin Johnson. And we're at St. James Cathedral, where in just a couple months, we're going to be electing a coadjutor bishop who will become Bishop of Toronto. So we're going to talk a bit about the role of Bishop of Toronto and what's involved. So thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Martha. So if you were on an elevator with a member of Synod and they were going to ask you, what should I consider if I'm going to be voting for the next Bishop of Toronto, what would you tell them in that short little time? I'd say that the person has to be a person of faith, able to articulate that faith um, clearly and fairly simply, a person who has capacity to deal with complexity and is open to a whole variety of the faith and the tradition, able to put together secular and sacred, preside at worship, and run a meeting. Mm. Is there anything else leading into an election of a coadjutor that you'd really like people to know about the process and about the role of being Bishop of Toronto? Well, first of all, um, I love being Bishop. Um, uh, it has been a very fulfilling ministry. There are times of great frustration. It is a very complex responsibility. There are a lot of moving parts and a lot of different roles. And what I do at 9 o'clock often bears very little relationship to what happens at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and one day is not the same as the next. So there's a huge amount of variety in, in the role. So you have to be flexible and you have to be able to, to put complex pieces together and you have to be nuanced. That's one of the things that, that I've learned about being a bishop. But being chosen as bishop is not a political campaign. It's not a promotion. It really is a, a vocational call. The order of bishop is one of the three orders of deacon, priest, and bishop. A call to priesthood is not the same as the call to being a bishop. And I think God calls people to those roles. And part of the role of synod of a diocese is for the church, through its action of synod, to listen to God's call, to assess the, the capacities and the gifts of a variety of candidates, each of whom brings uh, particular gifts to the table, offering that to the church. Um, one of those people will be selected as bishop, but all of the others will continue to serve God uh, in the ministry of the church. Their ministries, their gifts are not lost to the church in any way. So synod, the electoral synod is not like a leadership convention. It really is about listening carefully to what God is calling the church to do and be at this time and into the future. Uh, so it's set in the context of prayer and it takes careful listening and it involves all of us to do that. So thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us today. You're most welcome. And if anyone wants to learn more about the role of the bishop and the upcoming synod, you can find it on our website, which is toronto.anglican.ca, including a full document called Episcopal Ministry that goes into a lot of detail about the role of the Bishop of Toronto.